Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. You might think the games get more important as we get deeper into the season. Try selling that to this sellout crowd who've been screaming their guts out and ready for kickoff in the SEC. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. There's a beautiful view of the Smoky Mountains beyond Knoxville in the distance from Neyland Stadium. But today, all eyes are on this football game. And now it's time for the coin talk. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Mitchell from the nine. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Their quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. I got you. I got you, 44. I got you. On the run, right side. Room around the corner. And they make the stop at the 50. I love this wide receiver. I know what he can do catching a football, but man. Man, he's trying to get in line to say, hey, I want to carry the football. He's trying to push that starting running back out of a job. Three down, three down. Hey, check back, check back. The running back gets two on the carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short game. Second and eight. Ball on the 48-yard line. And a quick throw. Brought down at about the 41. Third down. Two times, two times. made around the 32-yard line. The Tigers always have guys that are near the top statistically, that and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. Good open field tackle. He might have a chance. And he is drilled at the six. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice 
first run there. Irby gains around five yards on the draw play from scrimmage. That brings him second and goal. We've got second and goal. Ball on the one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Touchdown, Tigers! And he adds the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Aggies come into the game ranked fourth in the nation. The Aggies hammer that running game and score a touchdown. And for Ramsey, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. Texas A&M leads it 7-3. In other action, the Commodores were ranked number 23. A tough, solid performance, but still a loss. Will they be able to stay in the pole? And for Vanderbilt, they've dropped two straight. And for Warren, he found Peter twice in this one. The Blazers pull it off by a single. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. The LSU the kick this one off. Daniels sets a return. return. From the seven. He's out to the 30. Brought down by the kicker. Not a bad return. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. Around the 22-yard line. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Four down, four down. 85, I'm coming for you. Coming for you. Here we go. Here we go. Let's get to seven. Check 99. Check 99. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Nothing there on the keeper. That makes it third and three. quickly to the tight end and he's tackled at the 21-yard line excellent job here by the defense to sniff that one out before it turned into a first down so they're gonna go for it here good tackle there in space big play and on fourth down the boot the entire offense looked in sync on that one coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Touchdown, Vols! Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Aggies come into this one ranked number four. Let's take a look at this one again. We've got a tight one going on here. The Aggies have the edge, 14-6. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Matter 
Patterson has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Mitchell takes it from the six and he's taken down at the 27. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. The halfback with a carry. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Feeds it to the back. He's taken down at about the 45. We played one quarter. We're even at seven in this one. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. goes around the 45 yard line third down and they need to get it inside the 48 dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle they'll bring him down around the 50 yard line They're coming after this putter. Looking for the corner. He takes it in at the 14. Knocked out of bounds at about the 25-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Runs outside for a nice game. That makes it second and six. Got his back, but he can't hang on. That'll bring it third and six. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball in the 29. Caught with room to work. And they push him out at the 36 yard line. Caught out in the open. He's tackled at the 46 yard line. protection going long he's got it and they make the stop at the 19 they'll get him for a loss that was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 21. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide.
Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at the 11. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. quick he's got another one he's pushed out of bounds right around the four yard line touchdown Tennessee so he punches it into the end zone for the second time today this guy has great vision out of the backfield even if a hole isn't there he's patient enough to wait for one to open and then he hits it game ranked fourth and hoping a win can move them up in the rankings and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day and for texas a&m who needs to throw it when you run it this effectively a touchdown coming on the ground the aggies are on top 28-6 touchdown difference in this one reese 14-7 patterson ready to kick He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 33. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he tackles him hard at the 44. First down. From their own 44-yard line. First down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. And he's taken down at the 36. From the 36-yard line, it's first down. He heaves it to the end zone. In and out of his hands. Plain and simple. If he doesn't come in with a hard hit to knock the ball free, that's a touchdown. That makes it second and ten. him hard at the 26. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. LSU's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. Throws complete touchdown. for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. We'll be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 66-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. 14 apiece. Buckley looks ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 31. Out 
Not sure that touchdown and their last possessions given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Pickup of a yard for the tailback from their own 32-yard line. It's second down. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Tennessee will take their second time out of the half. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. It's away. Short punt. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Quick strike to the receiver. At the 30. To the 20. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Throws incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. And it sails through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. And he'll return this one from the seventh. Tackle at the 24. We played a half of football. LSU leads it 17-14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Daniels from the six. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. From their own 26-yard line, second down. To that quickly they'll drop in for a loss and they back up three yards on that play they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated them there hey. 
from their own 23-yard line. It's third down. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Monroe is waiting for the snap. Whoa, he just took a licking. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. LSU has a three-point lead. Here's the give. Runs it left for a decent game. That's a game of four. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 50-yard line. And he's tackled at the 48. yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 20 yard line. the catch and gets out of bounds. He's out of bounds at the 35-yard line. That brings him second and five. Here we go. Slings it. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. the 49. They're about four yards away here on third down. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 21. the right side. Straight up 
the middle, and he'll lose yardage. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it 37. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Roger, Roger! Hey, check Mike 57, Mike 57. Alert, alert, Steamer, Steamer, alert! Come on, come on. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes a first and goal. That's a great tackle at the one. Folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. The Tigers with a three-point lead. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. And he's sat. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Davis update. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. And for Tulsa, they draw first blood with a passing touchdown. Tulsa leading the way, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Mitch Patterson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fires it out. They'll bring him down at the 36-yard line. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 36. And he's level at the 46-yard line. Gain 10 yards. First down. Here we go, here we go. High right, high right. Two down, two down. Here we go. He's tackled right around the 38-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Check, 
Quick out to his receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 23-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 23. Needed that play, and he dropped it. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. Five wide. Nice play across the middle. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. And this play is number eight on the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. And they make the stop right around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. It's first and goal, and they need a touchdown. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Had his hands on it and dropped it. What a huge break for the offense. He had his hands all over that ball. He just couldn't bring it in. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Aggies had a spot in the top four. They're hoping for so much more after a brilliant performance. And for Texas A&M, their season starts with a win. The Aggies win it big. All right, thanks, Reese. The Tigers. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Stevenson's deep to return. From the center. And down he goes at the 30-yard line. The Volunteers battled all game long, but it's not looking so good right now. Well, but remember, they're still within striking distance here. If they can put together a drive, they got a shot to win this game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. High. Gained seven yards on that play. need about three yards to get the first here on second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it second and two. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at the 29. Short pass, middle of the field, and he's taken down at the 18-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 20. Loss of two by the halfback. The defender snuck right through the blocks and just drilled the ball carrier. That's a standout play. From the 20 yard line. Second down. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Ah, 28. 
inside the 10. He gets out to about the 8. And he's hit immediately. Quick pass. Well, this offense is efficiently and smartly getting the ball where it needs to be at the most important point in the game. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Under a minute left in the game. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. LSU's ranking, that doesn't mean anything right now. Yeah, they've not played up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Tackle at about the 45. LSU will take their second time out of the half. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A four-play, 77-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So the score now, 31-28. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. The Volunteers have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. Well, they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. Three down, three down. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Knocked out of bounds at the 31. That brings him second and five. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry, and he's tackled at about the 41. He's to the 40. Tennessee's going to have to use their second time out of the half. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. He sails it long. Tennessee will use their final timeout. 
Big kick here. This would bring it to overtime. A miss, and this game's over. Just to get him to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. The kick is away. He got it. We're going to overtime. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Down he goes at the 16-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's taken down at about the 13. And the tailback picks up the first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. Receiver, touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. From the 25-yard line. First down. Passes to the back, incomplete. Good open field tackle. Second and six. Ball on the 11. Offense lines up in a five wide set in a defense. Anticipating pass here. He's on the run. Looks like he's going to run. Touchdown. Balls. Will be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Both offenses did well responding to the early pressure of overtime. Now we'll see who can play better defense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. set quick strike to the receiver they'll bring him down right around the 12 yard line they spread the field in the gun with five wide receiver fired quickly and he's got his man and he is drilled at the 11th Second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 11-yard line.
Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he hits him hard at the 12-yard line. And the kicker comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. He gets it up, and it is good. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Second and 10. Ball on the 25. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out at a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled at the 22 yard line. Vincent makes the at the 22 yard line. That makes it 37. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. That's a great tackle at the two. That's good to gain of seven yards. That brings up second and goal. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Irby with the toss. He takes it in for the win. What a finish. But they knew exactly what they had to do here to win this football game. And they went out and did it. It's been a battle the entire game. And I don't think there's any doubt that these guys completely deserve this W. A great game here today in a tight one. LSU 44, Tennessee 41. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.